Hi there. This is a set of videos that I put together just for you. I look forward to reading your comments and receiving your suggestions on how to make these videos more enjoyable or ideas for specific content that you might have. Thanks for watching. On Bring a Trailer today, a black 1994 Porsche 911 C4 widebody with 24,000 miles sold for $155,000. One of 267 delivered to North America, this is a special car, and it sold at a fair price, despite being a tad rough around the edges. The stone guards, in particular, just need to go. The caramel interior looks new, and the clutch and flywheel were replaced in preparation for this sale. This fellow needs a little gussying up to compete with similar cars on the market for nearly double this price. I think it'll pop up again clean and fresh as a daisy and push past 200000 That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a black over black 2003 Porsche 911 Targa with 108,000 miles sold for $28,000. This 996 hatchback was a fair sale. Targas have taken different forms over the years. The original had a soft rear window, then came the wraparound glass. Beginning with the 993, this was changed to a sliding glass panel, and the 991 introduced another new style. 996s and 997s with sliding glass like this also benefit from an opening rear hatch, providing access no other 911s have. It's interesting and mostly works, although some examples suffer from inordinate rattles and squeaks from the glass and seals, and some leak. I like them, but the chassis rigidity is a bit loose as they started with a convertible body and built up the Targa tops. 997s fare better than 993s or 996s. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a white 1971 911T Coupe 3.4 liter hot rod presented by a great seller sold for $191,000. It's tough to gauge the value on these retros, but I'd say it was a fair sale price. The body is totally rust and accident free. Factory 911 RS flares were installed during an all glass out restoration. It does have fiberglass RS lightweight style front and rear bumpers and ducktail. The interior was stripped, lightweight carpet was installed, RSR style bucket seats were fitted. For some reason, a 10,000 RPM tack was installed. This car isn't only about the looks, though. It has a replacement flat six that was sourced from an 89 911 Carrera. Lots of dollars went into making this a blueprinted and polished engine. The exhaust is a bit raspy for me, but with 300 horsepower and 2,200 pounds, yes, it moves. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, an Irish Green 1973 Porsche 911 E Coupe presented by a great seller sold for $128,000. Previously sold here by the original owner in 2018 for $112,000, today it seems like a fair sale price. This car has had a life, complete with a rollover accident at Lime Rock Park in 1977 and a new roof and a couple of refurbishments last in 2018. Equipment includes 15-inch Fuchs-style wheels with body color accents, as well as Bilstein dampers, H4 headlights, an S-style front spoiler, a Momo steering wheel, front sport seats, Bosch MFI, a MoCal front-mounted oil cooler, SSI heat exchangers, and a Dansk muffler. This is a nice car, inside and out. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. On PCAR Market, a Carrera White modified 6,000 mile 2008 911 GT2 with BBI upgrades sold for $265,000. One of 185 sold by Porsche in 2008. I guess the stock performance of this 997 just wasn't quite enough. This capable car was well sold. BBI is a well regarded builder of impressive cars. The following is almost all that's required to know about this car. BBI Autosport mods included upgrading the turbochargers, adding straight cut transmission gears, and fitting a custom titanium exhaust, resulting in a claimed output of up to a staggering 1100 horsepower. The Pikes Peak Hill Climb package, a $140,000 build, of course that's on top of the GT2. That's all for today.
See you tomorrow. On Bring and Trailer today, a black modified 1986 Porsche 944 Turbo 3 liter with 105,000 miles sold for $27,250. Sports seats and a Saratoga top. Nice. This is likely a fair sale price for this build, and certainly less than the seller put into making it a very quick car. It's estimated that this 944 Turbo produces somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 horsepower, and in this chassis, that would likely be scary quick. I'm envious of the buyer. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. An Arctic Silver 770 mile 2002 911 C4S Coupe presented by a great seller sold for $81,000. Amazing. I love these cars, and while this is a high sale price, I think it's justified as fair. Maybe that's rationalized. Another triple black car, this a 2020 Boxer Spider with 9,000 miles sold for $103,000. Sticker on this 718 was $115, while still a healthy sale price. It is the lowest completed sale on this platform. For Ferrari, a Rosso Corsa Euro 1991 Ferrari 348 TB with 78,000 kilometers sold for $54,500. Exhibiting some deferred maintenance, this was likely a fair sale price. A chalk 650 mile 2022 911 GT3 Touring sold for $270,000. With a sticker of $225,000, this was well sold. On Bring a Trailer today, a black over tan 1997 Ferrari F355 Spider with 35,000 miles sold for $95,000. What are you doing? Acquired here three years ago for $66,000. Well done. This was a fair sale today. The interior color is not my favorite, however, it is in immaculate condition. In 2019, the owner spent $33,000 to replace seat leather, carpets, dash, plastics, and more. The engine is good for more than 375 horsepower, and the open top allows full intake of the car's special audio track. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On Bring a Trailer today, a silver over black roof modified 1997 911 Cabriolet with 99,000 miles sold for $81,500. This roof conversion added a turbo and intercooler, among other items, to the base 993, pushing output to 420 horsepower. Well purchased in this sale. In the early 2000s, the car received a roof BTR engine upgrade and modifications included a roof exhaust system, turbocharger, intercooler, cylinder heads, camshafts, and pistons. Also installed were front lip wings and wheels, a 911 turbo rear wing, turbo brakes, Bilstein coilovers, and roof steering wheel gauges and seats. The BTRs turned superb 993s into truly super cars. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. On PCAR Market today, a purple 1992 Porsche 911 backdate 4 liter sold for $275,000. A seemingly wonderful build, this car was sold here last year for $355,000, and it was well sold again today at a discount. The chassis was completely stripped down to a tub, chemically stripped, modified with a carbon Kevlar roof, widened carbon fiber bodywork, and paired with a custom interior. Everything on this car was reconditioned. The 4 liter engine was built to produce a broad power band, produces 360 horsepower, and for this car, that's enough. All panels on the car are made of carbon Kevlar. Inside, brushed nickel just like on the outside. The seats look nice. The diamond tufting goes a little bit too far on the interior, in my opinion. This is a purple powerhouse. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Hi there. A repainted silver over black 1974 914 2.0 that sold for $17,750. A triple black 26,000 mile 2002 Boxster S sold for $22,986. A seal gray 2002 911 coupe with 58,000 miles sold for $26,000.
a triple black 2001 911C4 Cabriolet with 70,000 miles sold for $29,960. A black 2004 911C4S Coupe with 104,000 miles sold for $31,000. A repainted orange 36 years family owned 1972 911T Coupe project car sold for $42,250. A Grand Prix White over Champagne 1988 911 Targa with 145,000 miles sold for $55,100. That's a wrap for today. On Bring a Trailer today, a Speed Yellow 14,000 mile 1996 Porsche 911 Turbo presented by a great seller sold for $301,000. A stunning car. I'm sure that there are 993 turbos with fewer miles, but it's unlikely that they're in similar condition to this one. This was a top of market sale. A stock car all around, save for the turbos, rebuilt in 2021, and the dead tree removal. The rootwood shifter and handbrake lever were replaced with black leather items. With 400 horsepower and 398 pounds-feet of torque, the car sprints to 60 in about 4 seconds, and as the first turbo with all-wheel drive, it accelerates in corners with far less drama and pucker factor than previous iterations. That scene is both a good thing and a missing element by some. Almost anyone can drive one now, they decry. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Hi there. Porsche sold include this blue over black 1975 914 that sold for $21,250. A guards red over Savannah Beige 43,000 mile 2002 911 Cabriolet sold for $32,246. Jaundice Central, a mocha black over brown, 171,000 mile 1982 911 SC Targa 3.2 liter, sold for $37,750. An Arctic Silver 2002 911 Turbo Coupe X50 with 101,000 miles, sold for $45,000. For Ferrari, a Rosso Corsa over Crema 1989 328 GTS with 57,000 miles sold for $98,500. That's a wrap for today. On Bring a Trailer today, an Amazon Green 1994 Porsche 911 Coupe with 120,000 miles sold for $123,000. This car seems to have it all a rebuilt engine, upgraded AC, coilover suspension, and a beige interior that could be worse. This was well sold. Many love 993s, but a vocal minority prefer 964s, as evidenced by their selection for pricey backdates from Singer and Gunther Works, among others. Their fans say that they take all the best of the 3-2 coupes and make everything a little bit better. Prices for these have taken off, justifiably so. If you find a deal, take it, or send it along to me. That's all for today. See you tomorrow. Hi there. Three cars on Bring a Trailer were bid with their reserves not met today, May 31st. A Copenhagen Blue 1983 944 was bid to $11,000. A Rosso Corsa over Beige 7,000 mile 1994 Ferrari 348 Spider was bid to $77,500. A similarly colored 7,500 mile 2005 F430 Spider was bid to $252,000. That's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Be well.